Day three of the SO7 Children Festival kicks off then with the Vincent O'Brien County Hurdle. And this is a two mile and one furlong 0 to 140 handicap. And at the top we've got Tootin Carmen for Kevin Meenahan, Indian Tonic, Craig Beckwith, Trop Sander, Daniel French, Blinded, Graham Clutterbuck, Dante Martin, the American Pickers and Duke of Bavaria for Paul Rhodes, Shetland Boss for Graham Clutterbuck, Blue Ribbon, Kevin Meenahan, Arlington Ballyman, Vinnie Gerard, Gold Staple, Alex Cherry, Scarborough Bois for Daniel French, Palace Attraction, Padre Hogan, Newton Lodge, Stu Gray, All About Eve, Alex Cherry, Crystal Gaze, Obi-Wan, and Fair Dinkum for Stu Gray, and another one for Obi-Wan at the bottom, Alpine Wind, so 18 of them men in this, good big field for a handicap that away, and racing, and heading off towards the first of the fences, of the flights of hurdles, should I say, with Arlington Ballyman in the green on the inside, pulling for its head and being challenged by Alpine Wind for the lead, and those two are really blazing a trail at the moment, as we would have predicted in the preview earlier, this one is going to be run at a lightning pace. And Arlington Ballyman and Alpine Wind disputing the leader about four clear of Fair Dinkum, Dante and All About Eve with Tootin Carmen next and then Trop Sander on the inside. But the field is really blazing the trail at the minute. They're already crossing that little road and down towards the second flight. And Alpine Wind in the yellow on the outside of Arlington Ballyman on the inside as they make their way to the second it's a long run between the first and the second because this hurdle has been placed in not quite the right place unfortunately and it's a little bit too near the winning post as they get over it now you can see there's the winning post there's a running of about three foot after that which is unfortunate but it's a fair Thing for everybody, and um, Tarlington Ballyman in the lead, Alpine Wind is second, Tootin Carmen is back in third, Dante is fourth, then comes uh, All About Eve, Duke of Bavaria is after that, looking towards the back, Crystal Gaze is just the early back marker, but it's Arlington Ballyman who's got the lead, as they're racing down towards the third flight, Arlington Ballyman then for Vinnie Gerard in the lead, from Alpine Wind for Obi one second, Gap of two or three lengths, then back to Tootin Carmen for Kevin Meenham third. Dante the Martin Leader was in fourth, then comes all about E for Alex Cherry, the first of the Greys. Next is Blinded, who's actually been passed by another Grey there, and that's Duke of Bavaria. Next to that one is Indian Tonic on the inside, then is Trop Sound getting a bit closer as they get over the fifth. Also, mid division Palace Attractions moving a bit closer as well. Gold Staple just being shook up a little bit, looking towards the back. Blue Ribbon is now the back marker along with Newton Lodge and Crystal Gaze, but it's Arlington Ballyman and Alpine Window are still blazing the trail. They're clear by a good two and a half lengths from Dante and Tootin Carmen, Duke of Bavarian Indian Tonic then blinded all about Eve, they're over the sixth, that's the third from home they're racing down towards the final two flights they've still got six furlongs to race though, just about, and it's Arlington Ballyman who's shook off Alpine Wind and is clearing the lead now by a length and a half from Dante in second then come a brace of grazing blinded and Duke of Bavaria Indian Tonic on their inside and Palace Attraction on their outside Trop Sounder is now coming through with an interesting looking run as well as the leading group begin to bunch up and as a leading seven or eight of them who've just pulled a little bit clear now running on from the back Shetland Boss has made a forward move Scarborough Bois also coming to join the leading group now and so too is Gold Staple it's wide open this one is Indian Tonic hits the front over the second last they go and Arlington Ballyman jump back into the lead it's Arlington Ballyman in the lead from Dante and Indian Tonic Palace Attraction Scarborough Bra they come round towards the final flight then you know about another two furlongs because it's a long run towards the final flight. It's Arlington Ballyman who's in the lead, being chased by Palace Attraction and Dante. Then comes Shetland Bus back in fourth. After that one comes American Pickers, then Trop Sander and Scarborough Bois. They're coming down towards the final flight now. And it's Arlington Ballyman who's pretty much been the lead all the way and is now pulling further clear. And Arlington Ballyman looks a good sort here for Vinnie Gerard. Surely just going to pop the last with this short running to come. And he pops over it. Dante has fallen at the last. A crashing fall for Dante at the final flight. And Arlington Ballyman wins it. Scarborough Bra was second and the ridiculously short running didn't make a great deal of difference in the end. And a disappointing fall for Dante at the last but Arlington Ballyman is the winner for Vinnie Gerard, his second winner of the week takes the 
Vincent O'Brien County Hurdle. So Arlington Bally won for Vinnie Gerard the winner. Scarva Bois for Daniel French was second. Shetland Bus for Graham Clitterbuck was third. Duke of Bavaria Paul Rhodes was fourth. And Indian Tonic for Craig Beckwith was fifth.